Listen, we are excited. Yes. We are excited. We got a new presenter sponsor, Jack Pocket. One yes. thing about Jack Pocket, they're going to sock it to your pocket like a rocket if yes. you win. America's number one lottery app. I don't yes. care if it's state. I don't care if it's national. Yes. You can play right on your phone with Jack Pocket. What are you waiting for? Download the app right now. Listen, your first, I'm telling you, you're going to get your first ticket for free yep. when you use code Gilly. Yep. That's all you got to do is use code Gilly. Let me tell you something. Mega Millions is currently over a half a billion dollars and over $540 million in lottery prizes have already been won on Jack Pocket. So guess what? We are socking to your pocket with Jack Pocket. <laughs> Get down with them. Download Jack Pocket today. Use code Gilly. G-I-L-L-I-E. Jack, Jack Pocket. Pocket. America's, America's number, number one, one lottery app. Why would you go to anybody else when you could whip your phone out? A whip whip! Punching code Gilly. A whip whip! Let's get it. What are you waiting for? Sock it to your pocket with Jack Pocket. Right. You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Yes. Listen, man. We got yeah, Trey on the drunk, man. It's we going got down. Trey Young here, man. Young, man. <laughs> you hear me? Ain't yeah. nothing young about his game, though. <laughs> uh -huh. Got to be the grown man. You know, the game is crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I, you know, for my, me seeing him, I'm saying to myself, ah, I might get about, I could put about 15 on Trey. Yeah, like, no, I'm just saying I might care because I play big. You know, my game is like Rodman game. My game is yeah. Rodman style. Is, you know what I mean? Yeah. I got to worry about my ankles in the process. But <laughs> if I wrap them up properly, we're yeah, hot he's shifty, shifty. Yeah. He's going to rip your MCL, ACL, whatever L that you got. <laughs> yeah, my ACL already tender. So that's, I, that's it. I didn't heard of that all growing up, man. Yeah. Them old, them older heads always felt like they could, they could take me to the did, post. Did, did one ever, did one, did you, did you ever run into one old head that gave you some, Oh yeah, work. I've I've taken I've taken a couple of bumps and bruises when I was in middle school, but when I got to high school, college, I was so used to it by then. Like I was playing like in with my dad's like in my dad's league and stuff, and just going up there on Sundays and playing. So when I got to high school, college, it was it was I was used to it. So now yeah. now that you in the league, right, and you looking back and you seeing these NIL deals go down, yeah, and you like. I led college in scoring and assists <laughs> in the same year. Imagine with them Kentucky Fried Chicken NILs <laughs> and them AT and T NIL yeah. deals would have been. Yeah. Do you be like, man? I mean, yes and no. Like for me, like I think it was it's pros and cons that come with this NIL stuff. Like you're. You're not necessarily a college kid now. Like I feel like now, if you're an athlete and you go to college, especially in these few sports that really get the NIL money, mm -hmm. you're like a professional athlete. So it's like they treating it like free agency. If they don't play a lot, they transferring in and out. Like mm -hmm. kids don't necessarily, I mean, have that same hunger. I feel like for me, like in kids in my class and even younger, younger generation players, like I feel like we were just fighting to get to the lead mm -hmm. to, to get that, you know what I'm saying? Right. To get that generational wealth and to, to achieve our dreams and play in the NBA. We weren't focused on money in, in college because we knew we worked our ass off that one day it was going to come regardless. So, I mean, there's pros and cons. I mean, for me, of course, I wish I would have had some NIL, more money, but I think it was kind of good that I, I didn't. I only had to be there six months, you know what I'm saying? So, Do you think it's some players who are projected to go to the league and probably would go to the league, but the NIL money is going to slow some of them down? For sure, because I feel like now kids are going to choose the money instead of, I mean, what school fits them best to, to ultimately help them achieve their dreams to get into the NBA. Because okay. I feel like now, like now, like kids are probably asking these coaches, what can you, I, the coaches are probably running down what they can do for them on mm -hmm. the court and all these things. But then at the end of the conversation, they probably asking them, "Hey, so so what's the money part? Like, what's mm -hmm. so what's the the real thing?" And I feel like maybe kids like they just don't understand that. I mean, I said this the other day. Like, I feel like, I mean, kids don't understand we making ten x times the money that they making in college. So like, if you just sacrifice the mindset of just wanting to get this money now and sacrifice and, and make sure you're, you're locked into your craft and all this stuff and understanding the money's gonna come, then it's gonna flow in even more later on. And you're still gonna get money now with the NIL deals now, but it's, it may not be their main focus, and which is 
a good thing. So. Do you think it brings jealousy? Hold on, I'm going to let you get right. one off. I just want to ask you this question. Do you think it brings jealousy in a locker room? Because, okay, you was a five-star athlete coming out of high school, right? Mm -hmm. I was a three-and-a-half-star athlete, right? We mm -hmm. ended up at the same college. You got a shitload of NIL money, but I'm performing better. Mm -hmm. For sure. So do you think, because it would be a little jealousy in some NBA and some professional football locker rooms when mm -hmm. it's like, Oh, he got paid, he got paid, he got paid, but I can't get paid. So, yeah. you know, do you think like at the college level, and these is kids, these yeah. ain't even, they ain't even stepped into the grown man, understand business. Do you think it, it, it brings jealousy in some locker rooms? For sure, for sure. And I feel like just like an NBA level, the, the teams that have the kids that understand that when we, when we win, everybody eats mentality and it's not focused on being jealous because they understand the best player is going to get paid more than the, the, the last guy coming off the bench. Mm -hmm. I mean, the teams that understand that, I mean, are going to ultimately win. I mean, you look at UConn with Danny, Dan Hurley. Obviously, NIL just kind of started the last couple of years, but the way they went back-to-back -back championships in college, I mean, those guys bought into the system. They had a lot of guys that played. They had a couple of top 10 draft picks, and now they're in the league. So it's like, I mean, the teams that really buy into just winning, are going to be the ones that succeed at, at that level, just like NBA. What do you feel like? Do you feel that a lot of players are going to miss? They're going to miss out on great coaches and great programmers and the growth based off of the money play because some of these schools they might don't have it. Like you know, everybody got some money, but they they might can't. You might get outbid it, mm -hmm. but the school you might go to, the coaches might not be as invested. The program, the strength team, the whole coaching staff might not be as invested as could really take your game to the next level where you could be, the money could be way more different sure. and the position that you go when you get drafted could be more different. For sure. And that's why I feel like the, the, the ones that sacrifice on making sure that they pick the right school for the on the court reasons and the, the, the reason that's going to give you the, the longevity of a career and the NBA career, like you said, the coaches, the, the development level, I mean, all that, the money and stuff is going to take care of itself in the long run. So I feel like the ones, like you said, that, that take care of that first is going to be the ones that succeed. Because you see some coaches, like, like if I'm a player, I'm going, I'm, you know, I, you know, I just think about it like this. If I, you know, I messed my ACL. I'd have been going to Seton Hall and a bunch of schools <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. But that's another story. <laughs> Penn State wanted me, um, yeah. Seton Hall, on uh, UCLA. Yeah. It was a bunch. But yeah. <laughs> um, when I look at coaching, I'm just seeing, like, for me, when you look at coaches in, in, in college, I think of people like John Calipari and all of mm -hmm. them, whereas though your record, your track record of getting balls to the league is on the next level. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at him, you know, damn, maybe I might go to Arkansas. Maybe I'm, and other coaches that did the same thing. I'm looking to see like, I got to go to the places where though it's like the coaches, they got it before the money. They was getting you pushing people through. Oh, yeah. And you might got to deal with some, some discipline. Yeah. And it's like, damn, I hope this money don't take away the discipline now. Because it's like, I don't want to hear it. I get in the pool. Fuck. You know what I mean? No, definitely. I mean, I've, I've had Cal, Cal sat on my couch recruiting me. Like, like I've been on visits to Kentucky. Yeah. Like, he, he's no joke. Like, he, he gets guys to the league. But if you go to his practice, you understand why. Like, he's on his players. They, they don't take no relaxed days. Like, they don't allow girls in their dorm rooms. Yeah. Like, this, they're strict there. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's a different level. So, obviously, his money is different because now, like, these kids feel like, okay, if if I'm not getting paid enough and I'm not getting shown enough here, somewhere else can pay me more and they can, oh. I can be on, on the court more. So that may help me get to the league when, in reality, you bouncing around to different schools is not a good look for you trying to get to the league anyway. So, I mean, it's going to hurt some of these kids, but the ones that, like I said, are going to go far are the ones that are going to remember and listen to the guys that have been there before, and um, especially guys like Cal, like Coach Self and all these guys, and some of the best coaches are able to adjust to NIL too, but understand what it takes to get to this level. So. What, what, what percentage, now I'm talking about the league, the big league, what percentage, when you comes to, when you stepping on that court, what percentage is, is skill and what percentage is heart when you get on the court? Because I be, we be, I be running into players, I'm, you know, it's, it's easy looking at it on TV, but when you see a player, you be like, I thought he was, he's a killer like that. How the so what percentage is heart and what percentage of skills be dominant in the NBA? Mm, what's, what's your definition of heart? Because, I mean, I, a lot of people... AI. Have, 
Yeah. He's little, but he got heart. Yeah. Heart of a lion. He going at anybody. Yeah. It, it's that killer instinct that you have. I don't care how big you or who you is, because then you will see somebody that's Rick Brunson. Yeah. You see somebody. Trey no. Young. No, you, you, you John Morant. You want me to you tell you what? Damian Lillard. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. what heart is. No. So because you will see a player, big, but, and I'm not saying it the wrong way, you will see him and he'd be like, uh, he don't do shit. He's just big for nothing. No, for He's scared. Sure. He, he's soft for the, soft for the drugstore cotton. Hey, I, I used to have this saying, I used to hate when I used to see guys that's tall and that's all. You know what I'm saying? Tall and like, that's all. That's they what just, I'm saying. They just out there, they, they tall and that's all. And they can, they can finish and do all this stuff. And I mean, if I was 6'8", like I, I feel like I would be the best player to ever play this game just because of my mentality and the, the, the way I play, just the, just the, the smartness I have on this game. Like I feel like there's a lot I can bring, but there's a lot of deficiencies because like I'm 6'2", 6'1", like it's, it's, it's tough. I'm playing in a, in a big man's game, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like the percentages for me, I think it varies because like, I mean, it's, you say it's heart and uh, skill. And skill. Like for me, mean? for me, like it's a lot of his skill. I mean, a lot of his skill, but a lot of his heart. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of guys, it's, it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same bar for everybody. But I mean, I think it's more. I mean, a lot of guys are skilled. You got to be able to be skilled at playing the league. So I mean, it's it's more than 50 percent. But I mean, you got to have heart too to be at this level and be playing. I mean, a lot of guys on the bench. I don't know how you can rate their heart, but. On the court, a lot of guys got a lot of heart for sure. But 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 I'm trying to figure out, you know, where do yours come from? Because I seen you come to Philly and you put an extra crack in the Liberty <laughs> Bell a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, and I appreciate that. shit. You put an extra <laughs> crack in the Liberty Bell in Philly. I'm like, <laughs> he came in there, you you snapped out. Nah. So 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 where do you where, where do you get that? Where did that come from? Who? How was that dog? How he was that was dog? A piece of for bringing I had to bring it up. Too. He cracked the. He put another crack in the Liberty Man, Bell. He fucking <laughs> still, did. He put a like, crack in my. Heart too. You know I mean, so it was like, <laughs> how, <laughs> where did that come from? Where was that birthed? I mean, it was just being from Oklahoma, like, but born in Texas and mm -hmm. like understanding like the outlook of way people like I played on a travel AU circuit at a high level. So I'm traveling around um, and playing in some of the top camps with some of the top players. And like you can kind of you can kind of hear how they feel just I'm, I'm one of the top players, but I'm not in the group. You know what I'm saying? I'm not from Texas, Cali. I'm not from in these bigger states and all these things. I kind of understand how they look at it. And so just kind of being like that. And slept just, on? Yeah, just kind of slept on my Based whole Based off life. location? Yeah, just, yeah. Like being from, from Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying? I was literally in the gym all the time. And I'm, my family is a, a basketball fanatics. And just that's, that's where it was birthed in me, just trying to prove people wrong, getting out of Oklahoma. And, just trying to just trying to represent my family as best as I could. If you got to pick, you got to pick your team, and mm -hmm. you picking anybody in the NBA, twelve players, who are you picking the ball with you? Man, you you put me in a spot, man. Yeah, you I, at I the point. My, <laughs> Come on. I want my I want my team, man. I don't know. I don't we know. talk about I, in the history I, of the league. In though. the history, okay, okay. Yeah, that's we ain't that's talking a better about, question. Yeah, yeah, the history. In history, oh, I gotta have Bean at two, Kobe at my two. Um, Over Mike. Yeah, that's my Michael. Okay, okay I respect me? that. You feel me? Uh, Mike's my sixth man. <laughs> Hey, listen, you don't. Damn, let me, he said Mike let is me six man. Something. You want to be total oh, no, wait? You want to turn these cameras off? <laughs> you gonna be the first person in the history of flight. No, you gotta hear the rest of his team. Though. Mike was a six. But no, you gotta hear his team. That's his if, team. If, if, if I wasn't starting, I'd put Mike in my place. All right, okay. You know what I'm saying? But you right, start. But you start. Okay. So I, I can't put him at the three because that's KD's spot. That's Oklahoma City. That's my one of my idols. Um, and then LeBron at the four. And then I'm putting Shaq at the five. This is my guy. So okay. that's that's my guy. Who the rest of the team? Who coming off the bench? <laughs> Mike right. six. We got Mike. Mike's the first man off the bench. <laughs> so, oh, he said that oh, like, oh, like no, that man. He said Mike the is first. the first. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. This, okay. Your man that came with you is dying. He can feel like Mike. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. But no, he said because he 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 started. Yeah. Okay. So I'm starting. So then we got um uh I'm. On my team, I gotta have some shooting, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm put I'm gonna put Reggie Miller, mm. Reggie Miller on my team as a shooter. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring another big off the bench. It's gonna be 
Man, I don't know, big. Tim Duncan? Hakeem oh yeah, that's my, four. that's my four coming off the bench. Oh, right. He's number six all time in my book, Tim Duncan. Um, man, D-Way. Mm. D-Way is another score coming off the bench. What's that, nine, that's nine people? We only need three more. Need three more? A center. Mm. Um, man. Uh, Kareem, Wilt. Nah. That's too far back. I know Kareem, Kareem. I'm going to put Kareem in there, man. Kareem's one of the best all time. So. He is. Yeah, he is. He is. I just, I like, I like going with people that I've seen. And yeah. I'm not a big, big centers guy, but. Um, he just want ball with all shooters. I was about to put a lot of shooters. We just I was going to put Clay Thompson. Shoot. I was going to put. Yeah, yeah. Put Clay. Whoever, yeah, yeah. I'm put, Who I'm, the top five shooters in the league? Today? Yes. Um, Steph, Dane, myself. Um, I feel like Clay. Clay's still a top shooter. Um, and my teammate, Bogey Bardanovich. Uh, he's Bogdan. a shooter. Bogdan. He, he's a shooter. So. Now let me say something. You and Luca, I feel as though two best players that come out of that draft. Mm -hmm. right? Y'all forever linked. Get drafted, get traded. Two best players. Do you be looking from the side like what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I mean I I I see it like yeah. And I think it's like friendly competition. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. saying. Like yeah. it's it's part of it. Like it, definitely. And I think the year we, we went the way for as far as we did, we went first and I'm I'm sure he yeah, was probably yeah, feeling the same way. You right, know what I'm saying? I, so he yeah. just got to the finals and of course I'm feeling the same way. I'm right. trying to get back too, so because it's funny, y'all probably never met, never knew each other, but how they made it in the draft and how they brought it up and then y'all got traded and it's like... Yeah, we, we, we never met until that night and we actually were swapping hats like that night, like a couple a couple hours like after our names were picked because we yeah. were in the media circuit and then we ended up sw like meeting each other be from yeah. switching our hats. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that was the first time we met. And I mean, we, we, we messaged every now and then, like he'll, he'll message me crazy game that I have or whatever yeah. and the same vice versa it's, it's 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 love between both of us for sure though that's what's different though from back in the day and now though like Bird with a one off Dr. J would have never been on the gram like <laughs> Bird killing him <laughs> no. like what for you know, sure. but I guess it's different because AAU and people y'all y'all you've been playing with people for so many years and it's like now we get to the league we friends no like. for sure for sure I feel like a lot of it though I think a lot of people don't I mean a lot of it's social media too like and a lot of a lot of people don't I mean for me for instance and I know you see it in a lot of guys it's not just me you can I can mention Russ Jot ja, like we still when we get on this court we ain't friends you no. know what I'm saying like yeah. As much as we cool off the court and do all this stuff, and we see each other in the summertime mm -hmm. and congratulate each other having our, our kids or whatever, like mm -hmm. when we get on the court, it's business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still gotta, I still gotta make sure my team wins and and I gotta mm -hmm. do my thing and everything else. And I'm sure he's feeling the same way, but we ain't friends on the court. So, I mean, yeah, we we do all that stuff and yeah. and all that, but like my mindset and it may, it's definitely probably just because of the social media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. there's a couple arenas that want your head. Yeah, nah, for sure. New York? Yeah. He be putting his foot deep in New York. <laughs> yeah. He be, he be showing off Reggie Miller part two yeah. in New York, and then yeah. you came to Philly and you did us dirty. Now, yeah. I missed question. It. So, this episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by, by DraftKings. Kings. NFL Week. One is here, and a new season means new ways to get in on the action at DraftKings Sportsbook, official sports book betting partner of the NFL. Fans have spoken. We want to bet on touchdowns. DraftKings heard, and they're delivering. DraftKings Sportsbook is the number one place to bet on touchdowns. Ready to place your first bet? 
Try betting on something simple like picking a player to score a touchdown. Like, oh, Jalen Hurts going to score a touchdown. Ready to do a touchdown dance on your own? New DraftKings customers bet $5 to get 250 in bonus instantly, plus one month of NFL premium on us. So that's you bet $5 and you get 250 plus in bonus bets. I mean, come on, man. Who else is doing that other than DraftKings? And all you got to do is use promo code Gilly. <laughs> I'm looking out. Promo code. It's enough time right now. Pull out your phones. Download DraftKings. Come on. Get rid of all the mother. <laughs> DraftKings. Come on. Promo code Gilly. Gets you 250. Mm, that easy. So make sure you download DraftKings Sportsbook. Use the code Gilly. That's code Gilly for new customers to get 250 in bonus bets for just five bucks and get one month of NFL premium on us. Hmm. Offer ends 919 only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Let's get it. Let's go. This guy right here told me, he said he told he told Donald Mitchell that he shoot better than 60% of the players in the NBA. I do. Now, <laughs> now, let me just say that. Let me just say this. Let me say this. If this guy right here had a day contract with the Minnesota Timberwolves, how many points would he score? Depends on how many no, minutes no, I no, played. No, no, no. He got a day contract. He playing. They give him twenty minutes. How many points he? Twenty minutes. Score? How many from you? From you watching his game online? Yeah. Because sometimes you know stuff could be edited. All For types sure. of. Stuff. For sure. I'm just, I'm just saying. Shit not I'm not just saying. You but know. I seen you getting buckets. I seen the big. How many, how many points he's scoring? I mean, you probably getting. You may get a bucket. Because mm. it's a different respectfully, level. Respectfully, respectfully. It's a see, different level. See, because <laughs> I know my role though, so I'm not coming in the league, like. Oh, no, I'm gonna come down, set the play up. At Forty. Uh, bam. <laughs> Run my ass to the corner. Come on. Just get me open. Come on. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. Come on. The range is oh, different. He got double TV swell that shit. It's on. I'm not. The speed is different. Th that, that's, the, that's where your bucket going to come from. Th now. That's what I know. <laughs> I'm not coming in there trying to take Trey off the dribble and all that shit. I'm not doing that. I'm coming down. I'm Jock Vaughn. <laughs> okay. okay. Jock Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, I know me. Jock Vaughn. Because if I could shoot way better than Jock, Jock could throw a <laughs> rocket ocean from the beach. What I'm saying is. I'm coming down. I know my strengths and I understand my weaknesses. I'm not blowing past these. 40! <laughs> <laughs> Run to the corner. Bruce Bowen! <laughs> swing that shit. <laughs> Come on. Get everybody to guard you and swing it to me. How you think these guys be shooting 39% from the three point mm -hmm. line? All these shots is open. <laughs> I'm a shooter. So I'ma play the game. If I don't get no open shots, I probably won't score. How do you how do you stay, Trey? How do you <laughs> is this dude? You're he, an honest man though. Yeah, hey, but he said he said one. Hey, he said, hey, but if you hey, but if 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 they like, nah, we'll leave him open, Gilly open. I'm knocking it down. <laughs> and we in know the it's same on? gym right here, what Paul Pierce said. In the same gym right here. Me Gilly open! Game! <laughs> Game. <laughs> what you talking about? You see me on my Instagram say, I believe it. Paul put me, he made me miserable a lot of nights killing the Sixers. <laughs> but I'm 3 0 today and this <laughs> today, right, because he left me open. Now I want to know this like, <coughs> you know, you get in the lead, it's the side effects of success. Playing in cities like Atlanta, how do you stay focused? You know what I mean? Because there's so many distractions in these big cities. You know what I mean? And once you get paper, everybody coming. The women, the, the fake friends, the yeah. entitlement. Like, you know, it's totally different from success of playing in college to here. How do you, how do you protect yourself? How do you stay focused? For sure. I mean, I'm definitely, uh, my fault. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely, I mean, for me, like, I'm definitely a lot better with, with handling it now than I was 19 coming yeah. into the league. Um, I definitely. He was a maniac in college. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. I'm, 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 I definitely wasn't. I mean, I was, I was going out. I was going out. I was, I'm not a. I'm but not bro, going out. Bro, he was a college kid. No, nah, for sure. Who led college in points and assists. And, assists. <laughs> and you was running TV. <laughs> I'm talking about every game. Trey Young goes for 37 and 14.
Uh, it, it was. And then I'm looking at you now. I'm like, bro, you weigh like 175, bro. <laughs> like with some bricks in your pocket. Yeah. And you average 30 <laughs> in the league. You know how crazy that is? Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard work, bro. It's hard work for sure. Like, I just, I know angles. I know how to, I can score from every level. Like, I, I really feel like I'm just smarter than. 95 percent of the league. you know what i'm saying if i just if i was blessed enough to be six eight like you would the world would look at me even look, more different you, you know what i'm saying much. that you i mean would. that's too that much. was that was god humbling me and so See, he, yes. he made me six two and i'm still able to do what i do at a high level so i'm not i'm not complaining at all so that's that's really what it is I just, i'm just smarter than than a lot of the guys i go against what what uh what 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 is your practice like like yeah yeah yeah, your practice routine like how do you stay focused like off season like how do you practice like um i mean i'm always in the gym so like in the off season now like i'm i'm lifting in the morning um i'm getting on the court uh after my lift in the afternoon but i mean i have two kids so i'm 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 in dad mode now in the summertime because during the season mm -hmm. i mean i understand now what they mean by when guys get to the hall of fame and they thank their families for all the sacrifice that they 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 went through for just for you to be stand on that Hall of Fame stage. So, I mean, so in the summer times, I definitely spend a lot more time with my family. And, yeah. I mean, the times that I can. So, uh, that's that's really what my days revolve around in the summer times. So when you ask me how I stay focused, it's just I can't I can't mess it up. So I just that's that's how I stay focused. You know, what when I'm you go, when you shooting around practicing, work, how many shots you taking? I mean, I'm not the, that type of guy that, you know, guys will tell you I shoot 500 a day or I'll shoot a, some guys will even cap and say I'll shoot 1,000 a day. Like, I'm just, I get in, I get my work. Like, one thing I don't like doing is wasting time. Like, cause that's one thing we'll never get back. So it's like when I'm in the gym, I'm in the gym from whatever, 12.15 to 12.45 or to one o'clock. And I'm getting in, I'm getting, I'm getting my work in and I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, it's not, it's not like a, a certain amount, a certain amount of shots are, especially not now. Like maybe in high school when I was trying to get to this level, it was 500 a day. Like I was getting up early, getting up a certain amount of shots. But now it's, let me get my work in, make sure my body's feeling good and then uh, get home to my family, so. It's game day. Mm -hmm. What's your routine for the day? Uh, so wake up morning, get to the get to the gym for shoot around uh what time is that shoot around at 10 shoot around some at home it's at 10 so i'll get there at like 9 30 go get in the hot tub get my legs warm go through shoot around we'll do film I'll go through shoot around so my legs are warm just walking sweats you know i'm walking if i don't have my ankle braces on so i'm just walking around uh and then go back home play with my kids for a second uh take my pregame nap, eat, and then I head to the arena around like four or five, and then I'm up there. I do a lot of shit. I, I get up there, uh, I get on the table. Right when I get there, I get gunned out, make sure my body is loose. I get ready for the game, and 20 minutes on the clock, we get, uh, get our little huddle and we go out on the court. Now, what are you listening to? What does that sound, what does that playlist sound like? Mm everything i'm a i'm a arm. how do it start like what is this do? who got the aux in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the team on the team last year it was uh we switched it between D dejounte had it a lot um it's been different guys every year uh uh dejounte jalen johnson has it sometimes but we uh who you I mean, started off with how the, who's on that list who five people that's on that playlist i mean drake's on it hoes on it i'm a i'm a slow jams person so <laughs> it's crazy, but I got like Charlie Wilson on oh, it. Oh man, man, you cooking people on like, Charlie Wilson? New, new edition. Man, <laughs> no. <Nah>. <laughs> Charlie, last <laughs> name Wilson. <laughs> I just want to win. If, if I, I can, can take, take you out, look, look, look. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I know all that. Nah. You know his pop used probably have been a caddy listening yeah. to that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, for sure. So yeah, those are my four, and then who else I'll be listening? Man, Lil Wayne. I mean, I listen, I listen to everybody, but I'm, a, I'm really a slow jams, R&B, yeah. old school type of guy. Like, what do we look for? Like, 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 what, what, what is the next three years looking for Trey? You know, is, is, is any jewelry jumping off? 
Nah, uh, nah, nah. This ain't no ain't no extra jewelry jumping off of me. No, I'm too. Oh, so ain't, ain't no rings jumping off? We, we not looking for no ring. Oh, that that type of that <laughs> yeah, type yeah, of jewelry. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, that's the only jewelry I'm talking. Like the ring, I, you know. I'm, I'm talking. You, you felt your wrist, so no, I, I'm, I, talking, I, I'm talking about this. Okay, that okay. Ring. Yeah, that's 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 a different type of jewelry that I'm definitely chasing. That'd look crazy in Atlanta. Who you telling? That'll look crazy. This ain't never happened. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that like I could have went like I was talking about earlier. I could have went to Kentucky or like Kansas and played with Coach Self, but I chose to stay home and I wanted to do something different. Like being in Atlanta and not winning a championship ever, like I mean it's never been done. Like doing something like that there would be would be different, you know what I'm saying? But we got first of all, you win a championship in Atlanta. The party's <laughs> gonna be crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be Trey Young Boulevard. All type of shit. Trey Wayne <laughs> University. They go over to college. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. So I definitely try to make that happen. They never won a Super Bowl either, have they? No, I know they went to one. Yeah, but no, I don't, I don't think, think they have one. They almost had that one. Yeah, almost. They should have won. They had. They was they, they had celebrating they early. Was, they, they was playing future at halftime. Everybody out there. Come <laughs> yeah. some comers. Come some comers, yeah. Come some comers. They, they was partying like a motherfucker at halftime. They. They had it. Man. Did. So, this episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, life ain't going your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your woman cheating today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming and it didn't come your way. Shot of New Amsterdam vodka also is also get good for pre gaming as well. So when you out and about at your local liquor store, don't you just walk past that? You know what to do. Ah, uh, 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 boot. Get it home. Put it on ice. You can drink it straight up. Juice, soda, whatever you like. Or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam meal. That's up to you. But when you out and about at your local liquor store, you know what to do. Get you some new Amsterdam vodka. That would be the official vodka of Barstool Sports. I'm going to say that one more time. That would be the official vodka of Barstool Sports. New Amsterdam vodka. It's no better choice. Right. As far as arenas, not as far as the actual game, as far as the fans itself, what's the roughest arena to play in? Roughest arena? I mean, Philly. Philly's definitely a rough, rough place to play. I mean, man, probably, probably Philly. Probably Philly or Boston. I think those northeast cities mm. with 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 New York in there too. Mm. Like them three cities are probably the three loudest cities and feel like the most college environment type cities. Oh, okay. That's deep. So y'all got it. Y'all got that. Yeah. No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> At least he shouted our fans out at yep. the disrespect us. <laughs> Walked around, talked crazy to. No. Now, now, how about this? There's a strong chance. Gil coming off the MVP Big Three, mm -hmm. which is professional basketball too. So y'all both professionals, right? Well, I'll be considered the, the don't look at it. you. See, anytime, listen, anytime you want to say you full of. Shit, his lip do like this here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his homies laughing too because they know him. They like <laughs> now. I was every time he go <laughs> like, like man, you full of shit. I was co. You know, uh, after the game, Mike Beasley came to me, pulled me to the side, and said, "You was the co MVP today, Wallow. Mm. You really showed up." That let me know that I, I got something. I'm back. I'm you coming got back four strong. Points, man. <laughs> I'm coming back stronger. It let me know. I had some big shots. I had some big plays. I went in there with a strategy. Got in some people's minds. Because I'm yeah. more like Robin. I get in the players' minds. I'm yeah. defense. But there's a big chance that if me, you, and Gil shot shots, that Gil might come on top. What? Shooting. Just getting some shots? Yeah, he might, he might come out on top. But we did like the best out of 10. <laughs> I think Gil will come out on top. I mean, what what what, what range we doing? We doing y'all's range? We doing my range? Yeah. <laughs> which range is yours? Which range is? Ain't none of them. Ain't none of them lines right there. Oh, my range. Shit. You mean to tell me none of these is NBA? Nah. None of these is NBA. Nah, that may be. That's NBA. not NBA. No, that's that's NBA. Man, that's NBA, man. That man shoots from back here, man. Come on, man. No, no, but that's. Oh yeah. Not. This right here. This right here. 
He shoot from back here. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Oh, man. Man, I ain't even got a shot up. No, Wallo, how you going to pass me the rock? Oh, you want me to shoot first? <laughs> yeah, you got to shoot first. I ain't got to shoot from back there, though. That's you got to shoot from back there. That's his range. I thought I he was going to call right him out, though, shit, shoot, shoot from. I got to shoot from his range. Come yeah. on, what are we doing? Hold on. Oh. See? 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 Oh. That's I made shot. that. It, best of five. You can shoot regular. I'm shooting straight. Come on. Get that ball. I'm going to shoot straight. I'm <laughs> no, that ball ain't no good. No, it is good. I got this. I know what's good. Right. I'm ho, back. Ho, 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 ho. I'm going to give you, I'm going to throw you five of them. <laughs> All right, five of them. Trey, because you, you see right there. Yeah. I um, you look a little rusty, Trey. I might do something today. That was first it might shot. be my day. All right, come on. Where I got to shoot from? It. Which one line I got to shoot from? That one. That's a layup. O oh, for what? O uh. oh, for two. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. O oh, for three. <laughs> oh, I ain't warm my legs up. Yeah, this the one now. O oh, for four. He I ain't warm my legs up. This the one. <laughs> nah, I believe, Wallo. <laughs> I usually shoot 10. Man, you old for Winfrey. You can shoot 10. <laughs> I just had to warm up. Yeah, Dang. yeah. 0 for 6. It's the one. It's the one. 0 <laughs> for 7. 0 <laughs> for 8. I it's it's you a for lid. Winfrey, it's, man. It's, it's, a lip. A, it's a lip on that court. It's a lid on that. Ooh. <laughs> 0 for 9. Oh! 0 for 10. I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> you, you ready? Oh, Gil, you going to go first. Hold on. I, I just need one warm up. All right, just one warm up. All oh, right, we shit. good. Oh, shit. All right, we good. Let's one. go. <laughs> one for one. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> three for three. You want to fix the net for me? <laughs> you All fix right. it. Oh, three Damn. for four. He started talking. Oh, I got to talk to him. Hold, nah, on, for hold on, Trey. <laughs> hold on, Trey. Three okay, Gil, that's right. Hold on, Trey. I got four. Hold on, Trey. Oh, oh yes. That three pressure, Trey. On, Trey. He put that Philly pressure put that on you. Pressure on you oh, that's what I love. He put that Philly four pressure seven, on you. Four for right? Yeah. What's that? Four for seven. Hold on, Trey. Ah, I'm five for eight. From, from 35. <laughs> He put that pressure on you, Gil. <laughs> Hold on, Trey. What's Six that, cuz? Six for nine. Six for nine, come on. God damn. Ah! Come on, Gil. Come on, Gil. Gil! Get yeah, your head Philly. in the game. Take it back. You the MVP. Come on. Shit. Get your head in the game. Come go. on, cuz. Is this it right here? You can take one more step up. You sure? I'll let you take one more step up. Come on, oh, cuz. I'm, I'm still. No, nah, you still did. No, nah, that's right. That's I'm right. Who would you score, Trey? <laughs> I had seven. Seven. He seven. seven. Come on, cuz. It's a light seven. Oh no. Come on, man. Uh. Come on, man. What's that? Two for oh, oh for two. Oh. It's a different league, baby. There we go. Short. You gotta get a little legs. It's a different oh, league, cuz. Gilly. <laughs> there we go. There, it is. there we go. Come on, what's that? One for one for four? Uh, five? What's one, that? One for five? One for five. One for five. They just hold me over there dying laughing. Don't worry about it. Two for six. There you yeah. go. Come on, don't you worry can get about in that lead, cuz. Oh, come on. Oh, you got on. this. You get in the lead, cuz. Come on. There it is. Oh, come on. Come on, cuz. Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come oh, on. That's off. That's off. That's off. That's off. That ball flat, man. <laughs> Okay, that's all. <laughs> what's that? Two for. What's that? <laughs> like two for. Nine. Two for nine. Let me get that ball right there, man. <laughs> I gotta at least go 30%. From, what's this, about 27 feet? Yeah, like 28. 20. You ain't even get 30. <laughs> Dang! Run it back. Come on. <laughs> Let me go first. All right, bet. Can I go, go first? Pick the spot. Pick your spot. You pick the spot. <laughs> I'm going the same spot. <laughs> Let's go. You ready, cousin? Putting this pressure on him now. Put the pressure on him. Philly pressure. You said he warm now. <laughs> come on, man. Just come on. Hold on, man. Stay focused. Get your hand in the game. Hold on, man. 
One for two. That's why you talk a little. Just get your hand in the game. Two for three. There okay. you go. Get your, you back, baby. <laughs> it's your turn. Two for four. Hold on. <laughs> two for five. Oh, <laughs> you snow. Calm down. Relax. Come on. Two for six. Get your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> get your head in the game, cuz. Three for eight. <laughs> three for nine. There we go. Get your head in the game. All right, I'm 40%. I'm 40%. I'm 40%. <laughs> right, I'm 40%. 40. 40. That's NBA average for a shooter. All right, here we go. Come on, cuz. Come on, Trey. You missed one. Here you go. Come on, Trey. Come on, Trey. Show me. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, Trey. Hold. Oh, all right. One for three. He. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Two for four. <laughs> three for five. Come on, Trey, with the ball, man. <laughs> four for six. Are we tied up? Come on, Trey. Off to the right. I'm What's that? Shit. What's that? Five for seven. He not playing, cuz. Oh, oh that was in and out, too. Five for eight. Oh. Six for nine. He did that shit easy. Oh Damn. my gosh. I needed 70. You needed 70. Top of the key. Yes, What's that? Let's run it. Top of the key. You go first, I go first. You can go first, or I go first. No, you, you go it. first. I'll go first. You go first. Top of the key, come on. You go first. Oh, to the right, Trey! <laughs> Off to the left, Trey! Mwah. Here Shit. it is. He not playing. Come on, guys. Mwah. Oh, oh, that's one oh, for three. Oh, that's one for three. Hold on. One for yeah, you back. You back in that's the game, guys. One for cause. three. Hold on. Hey, that's two for four. He talking to the net. That's two for they four. Having a conversation. Hold up, Trey. That's short. <laughs> Him and the net having a conversation. That's man. short, Trey. That's there short, you go, Trey. Guys. That's two for five. That's short, Trey. Oh, that's off. Oh, that's three for six. You gotta fix the net. Fix your own net. I got you. Oh my God. Four for seven, man. <laughs> Bobby, why, why do you keep laughing on me like that? <laughs> he just keep cracking the fuck. <laughs> Six for nine. Dang. <laughs> Need my 70 real quick. Please. Oh, oh. Trey. Now, what let me that? ask you a question. Huh? 60%. All right, come on. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm get 60%, cuz. I'm gonna I'm I'm get this, cuz. Come on. <laughs> oh, you wanna throw it to me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Give gonna, it to him. Give it to him. I was gonna give you some good luck on that. 60%. Come on. All right, that's one. Oh, no. Come on, Gilly. That's one. There we go. One for two. Living right. Two for three. Oh, come on, Gilly. Come on, you need 60%, cuz. Come on, that's two up in and out. Come on. What's one for, what's one for four? Talk to the net, man. Have a conversation with the net. Oh, come on. Yes, sir, yo. You got it. You can beat his record. Go ahead. No, wait, wait. That's two for six. Yeah. You good. I mean, I am good. Don't worry about it. Oh. Yo. God damn. I'm glad now, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was up. 10, cuz. Gilly done gave up, yo. Cuz, was that 10? I lost, cuz. <laughs> oh, you Watch this. Give it Cuz, what? Cuz. Watch me work. Let's rock, Wallow. Come on. No, no, no. Right if here. them Twerk. two don't go no. in and out, they're my mother. Cuz, this is what I do. <laughs> what are you talking about? This what? is what I do. I'm going to show you how I do. Nah. What you doing? Look. Come on, man. I'm too big, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <shit>. yo. No. <laughs> Come on, man. Look at this ball. <gasps> Oh! Oh, he, he look at me, he trying to foul me. Nick Trey trying to foul me. If I need a better rock, this rock's too late. I'm ready to get crazy. Come on. I'm ready to get off. Come on, watch this. He's a bub. <laughs> He's going straight right. <laughs> ah! Ah! You see that ball? Classic move, Trey. Don't Kev, do it. Look at them, kid. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now nah, I gotta Don't go. Don't do it. Look nah. at them laughing, kid. <laughs> ah. 
Ha, ha. Alright, so Boom! Do him off! Do him off! Do him off! Vamos, Zé! Vamos, Zé! Eu lembro o Zé! Bom! Got him! Oh! Maia! Oh. My ACL woke up. See, look. Come on. Go ahead, Gil. You got that. I can't do it. It's too much. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Need a breather. Oh, yeah. I almost had it. I'm there, I'm there. I'm there. Oh, s. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all stop laughing like that. <laughs> Why y'all laughing like that? One nothing. Damn. Cuz. No, just relax, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> you need help? Relax. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> he patted you down, guys. <laughs> That's, cool. That's cool. I'm right back. You know what I mean? Cuz, I got handled too, though, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, go ahead, get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go guys, come on. <laughs> I got here to two, cuz. Ah! <laughs> Come on, man. First of three, or what's that? Two? Oh, yeah. Come on, cuz. I gotta stop him right here. Trey, ain't he chilling right now? He ain't even taking, <laughs> he ain't even sweat yet. There's a hundred in here. <laughs> no! Oh, and he got the. No, I ain't touch you, I touched you. Nah, you good. Come on, cuz, you playing. Get there. Biggest hands on a five nine. <laughs> I seen you pawn the ball. Okay. Hold Ooh, on. what's that? What's the score? One, three, two. one. Come on, cuz you got it. Take it away. Take got it away. Up, Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Work the pack. Work the pack. Work the pack. AI. You got step up, Trey. Ah! <laughs> that was it. That was the big one. <laughs> hey, I almost had it. Listen, come on, Trey. Come on, cuz. Let me score. Oh my oh, god. Oh, I can't win this thing. You are not. Oh, I couldn't I couldn't run. Really he, he, he focus. I said when I'm in my ink, I ain't got my ankle braces on, I'm chilling. Yeah, you chilling. I don't want you. Come I'm on, guys. Go put it on the ground. Blast. Put it on the ground. Show your magic. Put it in your paw. Oh! Ah! Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I got him back. It can't happen on me. Oh shit. Yo, you wait, we get you in the league, cuz we need an agent. I'm it getting in the league. On me. I'm the creator. Uh, we gotta get an agent. Come on, man. Get him in the league. Come on, cuz. We gotta get you in the league. Come on, you got it. I'm there, Trey. Oh, you should trade that. You shut him down. Oh, yeah. oh, you shut him down. You gave me another chance. You shut him down. Me another chance. <laughs> cuz, put it on the ground, Pat. <laughs> Do what I taught you. Come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. He ain't ready for that. That's good, Trey. Oh! That's good, come on, Trey. Trey. Come on, Trey, Do it again. Let me hit this one, Trey. Do it again. Come on, cuz. Trey! Don't let me hit this. <laughs> Come on, cuz. Be good. Work the ground. Put it I'm on the ground. It. Put it on the ground. Come on, work it's the pad. Range. Pat. You just saw that. Pat that thing. Pat from here, though. Patty cake. Come on, pat it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Trey, you lucky, Trey. He oh. about to ice me right here. No, stop, 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 man. Stop playing with fear. Stop <laughs> playing with fear. <laughs> he about to ice me. Stop playing with fear. Oh! <laughs> Oh, cuz, don't, don't, come on, cuz. Cuz, watch it, cuz. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm the old Trey. Oh, I can't. You know that. Now, listen, Trey, in the shop, right? I want to know this. Nut. This is what I want to know. Oh, my God. When you pull it up, like, what, what, which, how you supposed to be? Foot? Your foot's supposed to be on your right. You're a right hander, right? Yeah. Your right got to be in front of your left. So it's always got to be this. So you're on balance. Huh? So what I do now? Shoot that bit. That's one, that's Bucky right there. Oh, whoa! See, my style changed that quick. <laughs> okay, I know how I was shooting off the. So yep. I just gotta be from here. Yeah. Now, yep. now I'm trying to figure out a lot of times. Cause I played back in the day. We ain't do all the. Things. What's yep. all this when everybody be like, "What's all that about? What's going on with that?" It's cause you gotta get them off you. you but get they them. still right here. Cause if you do that right, I'm still right here. Cause I'm already in your mind. If I'm sticking you, so I'm if you go like that. So if you go like this and you still there, uh, I'm going. By okay, you. okay. You know what I'm saying? But if you, you missed though, so it don't matter. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of, I got over 10,000 though. But, but this this my whole thing, like, so, Yeah. what is the easiest way to fake, especially with no screen coming? So how do my feet supposed to be? I mean. Cause I'm old school. Back yeah, in the day, we used to be like this. We used to be, yeah, up, yeah. We, we could do that. Your refs can't do that now. 
We can't do that. I mean, you can, but it, it doesn't no, work. No, you. Because my defense is advantage. a little different. It doesn't work in your advantage if you do it now. But yeah, you're right. I mean, you really so can't. when you when you in this position, what you looking for? If you what need you a three, for the what you looking for? That you going if somebody I, up on you? If I want a three, if I come up, if I need a three, yeah. I mean, then I'm just gonna get into his body. I'm okay. gonna step back. Okay. You know what I'm saying like, if he's bucked up like, like he is like now, up on me. Yeah. Now who 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 ain't going for that in the league? Who you try to with and they just all game they ain't going for who who? Nobody. I mean, it ain't you, nobody you in the cook league. Cook everybody, man. What you <laughs> mean? But I'm just saying it got to be somebody to give him a bad day. No, I mean, there's been bad days for sure, but but mostly they got to do what you just missing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it has got to be. It's been in four, your know, fourth game in five nights, and I'm tired of shit. shooting from this. It's different after having two days off doing the same move. You know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of times when some guys have bad games, it ain't necessarily always because of the defense. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it can't be like the defense had a great night. Like, there's some good defenders, of course, but nobody's stopping KD but himself. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe he's tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of guys. It ain't just it's me. It's Kyrie. It's, like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot Who's of the hardest guard to, to stick in the league. I mean, there's a lot of them. I mean. It's not, they all bring something different. So I don't think it's just one guy. Top five hardest guards, the guard. I mean, Kai, Steph, Dane, Kai, Steph, Dane, Shay, Ja. Mm. Outside of myself, I mm -hmm. mean, I'm in that category. Absolutely. If, if I don't, but outside of me, yeah, those five, those, those five are really good guards. Mm -hmm. I mean, Luca in there too, shit. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a different guard every night, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Every absolutely. team. You think of the worst team, the, the Pistons got Kay Cunningham, he ain't no, right. no slouch. And, so. Yeah, he works out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mello Ball in Charlotte, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's, shout out to Mello. I got it. I, got, I seen you I got had some Mellos on. on. They sent shot. them to me, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they sent me these sneaks. I'll, be, I'll actually be rocking them. <laughs> so y'all know, you know what I mean? But, man, no. we appreciate you, brother. No, I appreciate What's your goals you. for this year? Man, I know you're gonna hate to hear this, but I'm gonna get back to to where I've been. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of people look at our roster and don't have a lot of high expectations. So that's sometimes good for a player like me who's been built on beating expectations his whole life. So uh -huh. I'm just ready to play, beat expectations on, and whatever that that ends up being, I'm I'm gonna be ready for it and excited for it. So. Absolutely. Well, appreciate man, we you having me. know you're going to have a big year. Thank you, bro. You know, what appreciate position, you. What position on the team do you think I would get? Because if he got a day, like, what, what, what could I do on the team? <laughs> Water <I> boy. <laughs> no, that Lou Will six man. That Michael Jordan hey, six see, man. See, he always hyped me. <laughs> you you, you, you put say, Michael said, Jordan as a six man and admit it? Oh, I'm, that's a oh, lot. I'm a six man. That's <laughs> This is a rap, man. Look, that's not, look, this that's, is a rap. Yeah. <laughs> Trey a really good dude. He'll be one to tell wild little truth like, man, you a bum. He said I can be a six man. That's yeah. major. A six and man? It's just like that. No. All right.